Hey, air sign. What's up? What's up? How are you? Welcome to the weekend, my darlings. We're looking at messages coming through for you for this weekend. What's going on for you? Going to be doing a video about um, manifesting with this new moon in Libra. Going to be talking about um, five things, four things, something like that, about different tips that I have for you manifesting with these this new moon energy in particular, but also just in general, okay, for new moons. Uh, new moons are the time of bringing in something new. It's a new cycle. So want to see that that'll be up on the channel later today i'll be working on that after i'm done doing my daily readings for you guys the um the, feel free to swap characters around this this could be vice versa i could be talking to a cross watcher just use your best judgment you know we trust you what movie is that from risky business right um that is what we're doing here also uh these are messages that want to come through for this weekend so i'm just going to pull the strongest storyline this might not be your storyline not every day is going to resonate with every gemini libra aquarius whoopsie but there's something here okay that's way too many cards um there must be something here for you otherwise you wouldn't be here you know nothing is a mistake nothing is an accident you're drawn here for a reason and that is the coolest part of this whole stuff it's really cool how it works. Okay, let's see what's going on for you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Soulmate, saw that coming, poised. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a building. So you're right on the edge of this soulmate coming in. They're here. They're right in front of you, okay? And it's going to be a change in your life. The soulmate's card is a five. Five is about change, okay? So what's interesting here is the poised part of it, th uh, 48 goes to three, right? Three, you, me, and the divine, bringing this together. You're right on the edge of it, baby. And it's about a building. This is about building trust, about building connection. Oh, dear. Um, <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> That's Colleen. Uh and so it's going to be a chop wood exercise. Okay, so this is going to be about what do we want it to be? What do we want it to look like? Um, but this person is here. Okay, so if you are, it's 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 like you're on. Uh, there's a new relationship pending here, coming in a soulmate. Okay, we'll look. We'll try to get some timing around this. But you know, as a general read, I'll try to do my best. Um, because some of you, this could have already been happening or it's going to be happening in the future a little bit. So we'll do our best here. Um, you know me, card number five gives me an indicator of time. That's my intention always. So let's see here. Okay. All right, my darling. <laughs> Leo. Leo. So cool. Okay. That's interesting. Queen of swords, queen of wands could be a fire sign. This person could be a fire sign. Four of wands, three of swords, two of swords, king of cups. Wow. I feel like you're, um, you might be a little resistant to this person. You might, they might've broken your heart in the past. Okay. Um, this person is, um, it could have been part of a third party. I think that's a small portion of you, though. Um, so let me just show you. This is you here. Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, okay? You could be passionate. You could be this person. Four of Wands, ready to move forward into relationship, very available, all right? I'm seeing, I will do in the uh, extended, I'll pull a couple cards around the zodiacs that I'm seeing here. That's Leo energy here. Um, this almost makes me feel like some beast has been tamed. All right, if you guys were together before and somebody got their heart broken, I feel like um, this King of Cups got their heart broken, maybe by you, and they're a little resistant to this connection. Okay, they're a little bit like, I'm not sure if this is where I want to go. Okay, Empress, Three of Pentacles, more threes. Um, I don't get the sense that they're with anybody. 
Okay, they're, I don't feel like they're with anybody. I feel like the third, the third energy here is the heartbreak from the past. It's like a thing sitting there and this person remembers it, okay? So nine of swords, kind of a little bit, um, both of you are sort of in this place of, is this really where we wanna go? Like you might be in the place of like, I'm ready for relationship, but is this the right person for me? Um, okay, there's a reason they call it breakup, because it's broken. So something caused you to break this off in the past. Okay, let me see this King of Cups here. Something caused you to break it off in the past. Three of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Wheel. So in the past, this might have been a third party for some of you. Okay, I'm getting that kind of strongly. Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups. And Three of Cups is the third party uh, card. Um, this person has Virgo energy. Could be Virgo Moon. Doesn't have to be a Virgo, right? Um, Nine of Wands. They've got some baggage. They could have been... I feel like um, if you weren't with this person before, in another relationship, they could have been cheated on, right? There could have been a third party as it relates to their relationship. I don't necessarily feel like that's with you. I feel like you have more, more structure. You have done the work here. You're in the queen energy. They're in the king energy. Um, but this is moving forward. This is going to be changing. I see Sag. I see Virgo. Um, I see Leo. And nine of wands, there's some baggage that needs to be cleared here. Nine of wands, nine of swords. Okay, fool. Okay, so it's really just about clearing the um, space for this. Clearing the space, wanting to work on it. I feel like you both, I mean, there's Venus there and you want, really wanting to work on relationship together, being together. Um. And I do feel like that this person did have some problems in the past. And that's the reason that they're being resistant. So the chop wood part of this is kind of like, let's build slowly, Nine, Knight of Pentacles. Let's build this slowly because I don't think they can go fast, but they will, they will take a leap of faith on this. Okay, I do feel like that. A magician, Queen of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, yeah. I mean... Here's the thing. If you're not serious about going the distance, I wouldn't move forward with this person. This person wants to go the distance. They're not interested in a short term thing. Okay. Queen of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. They want to have the real deal. They want to be in a relationship that's solid. Okay. They want that. They're manifesting that in their lives. I do feel like um, somebody here is coming across as magician perhaps um, not sure or um, not communicating in a straightforward way. I feel like you both have this sense of like, I know you're a good person for me. I know that this would work. It worked in the past, but then it didn't. So why didn't it? Why didn't this work in the past? Okay. And what were the reasons if you were with this person before? If this is a new person coming on your path here, all right. I feel like they are on your path for a reason and you are likely somebody who is going to bring them some healing. You are going to bring them some positivity, very uh, empowered. Um, you might have had a problem in your relationships, the similar to theirs. If they had a problem in a past relationship, you might have dabbled in third parties and that would be a thing that they'd be like, ooh, not going to go there because they've been crushed by that before. Okay, so I would be mindful of talking about your history without showing revelations that you've had because of, you know, look, if you're single, then it didn't work out. <laughs> okay, something didn't work out, right? So... And it's, there's zero chance that it's 100% the other first person's fault. Zero. Okay? There's always a mix of things. As, as awful as some relationships are, you know, abusive relationships and things like that, there is a, a, a corresponding energy 
that brings that person in. So there, that's something to look at. If you were with a narcissistic partner or something like that, that's something to really look at. This person is not narcissistic. This person is not that. So you can't look through the lens of that exclusively to deal with this person. What you need to do is bring that to the surface and and understand about the the uh, the energy that brought in that old partner that wasn't really good for you. If this person this person um, for a lot of you is likely somebody you've dated before. If I see that six of cups or, ju or judgment, this is definitely somebody you've known in this lifetime. You, there's no chance that there's any new meetings, right? This person is a soulmate. This person is a soulmate and that means that you've been in their soul family or something like that, lifetime after lifetime. So this person wants to go the distance. That's what they're willing to do. If you're not willing to do that, if you're not willing to work at it, if you're not willing to put effort into it, then I wouldn't dabble with this person. No dabbling. This person is a serious person. Okay, this is not somebody that's going to fly in and out of your life or anything like that. Even when I see the fool, I see the fool, magician, queen of, queen of cups, queen of cups, king of cups. This could go the distance. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to look at, I see here, um, Sag. I see Virgo here. If you're dealing with a Sag or a Virgo, um, and I do see a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So it could be their moon. It doesn't really, oh, Leo, I'm sorry, too. So uh, Leo, Sag, Virgo, and then I'll look at Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person could just be, um, have that energy. They could have a rising sign that's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a moon sign, right? Doesn't necessarily, it feels to me like it's something that they hide about themselves. Something that they're, you know, hiding from other people. Okay, they don't necessarily want to show that part of themselves. This is very vulnerable. I do feel like a conversation will make things more open. All right, I really do. Okay, after this Nine of Swords moment passes. All right, I think you're both in that of like, do I want to move forward with this? Is this the right person for me? Should I go down this road? Am I looking for the same thing? Am I looking for the same thing? Okay. All right, so I'm going to do an extended now. If you'd like to continue on, if not, have a wonderful day. I hope this reading was helpful for you. Um, if you are interested in the extended, the link is below. If you're on your phone, you got to hit that little that little upside down triangle. So the description box pops up. Um, and some of you know how to do that. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll see you on the other side.